Hi guys, it's me Tiffany. So do you ever have a plant and you look at it and you think, man, that's a really beautiful plant. Well, that's the way I feel about this plant in front of you. This plant I grew from an air layer that I made of a seed grown tangerine. And I've been trying to think, what did I do with this air layer that makes it so different from the others? If you look, what I like about it, A, is that it's pretty low. It's only about two feet tall, yet it's very bushy and full. So the only thing that I can figure that maybe I did differently is when I took the air layer, right above the air layer, it branched out into three stems. And so maybe branching out into three stem kept this plant from establishing apical dominance. Basically, maybe it kept just one limb from going straight up to maybe throwing its growth into all three limbs. So I want to try to recreate this. And this brings me to my tall tree right here. So here's my tree from another angle and this tree is gonna have to be trimmed. And the reason why I want to trim it is because it's kind of jutting out right here and really right there too. Um, what I noticed over here is that where I want to trim, this is the limb I want to trim off. And you notice I have a main limb right here and then it branches off. So I think I'm gonna make an air layer of this limb. Since I will be air layering a seed grown citrus, there are a few things I have to be very careful about. First of all, I wanna make sure that this already can hold fruit, which it has fruit on it. So check on that. But when you seed grow a uh, citrus fruit, what happens is that when it first starts to grow, it's in its juvenile stage. And um, whenever it hits the preferred node count, it starts to flower. So the thing is, is where is the preferred node count? Here, 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 I have no idea. So what I'm trying to tell you is when I choose a place to air layer, I need to steer clear from the bottom of the tree. Because let's say if I chose these limbs down here, those would have a lower node count that would regress my tree to juvenile stage. And if I choose those limbs down there, it might be another three, four years before I see fruit. But if I choose this up here at the top, that should have a higher node count, be more mature. So it should be maximum uh, two years before I see fruit. Some materials that I need to make this air layer are a piece of plastic, um, zip ties or twine. I only have like one in one, so that's what I'll be using. A sharp knife, aluminum foil, some scissors, Sphagnum moss would be better. I don't have any sphagnum moss, so I'm using peat moss today. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove some of these leaves and limbs that are right where I need to work. The next thing I'm going to do is take a sharp knife and I'm going to make a cut all the way around. I think I'll start, there's a node here, a node here, a node here. Um, a node there. I think I'll start down here. I want to hit the nodes. I feel like it'll be better shooting out roots closer to the nodes. So I'm going to make a cut all the way around. Then up above about an inch away, I'm going to make a cut all the way around. Okay, now I'm going to make a slice from cut to cut, being careful of my hands. And the reason why I'm doing that is because this, we'll call it bark, will peel right off. There she goes. So right now it looks like this. The next part is very important. There is a thin green film here called cambium. I need to scrape that off. 
And the reason why I'm doing that is because that cambium delivers nutrients from the bottom part of the tree to the top part of the tree. And what I'm trying to do is disrupt the flow of nutrients to force this to put out roots right here. Okay, so I've scraped off that thin layer of cambium to the best of my ability. Next, I'm going to grab my plastic bag. I'm going to take my piece of plastic and here at the end that's closest to the tree, I'm going to wrap the plastic around I'm bunching it up and overlapping it just a little bit. And I'm gonna tether it below where I scraped off the cambium. Make sure I got it on there in the place that I need it. That's about right. And I'm gonna cinch it as tight as I can. Now I'm going to sprinkle some rooting hormone around that cut. I'm going to take my moistened moss and I'm going to pack around that cut, trying to get the moss in there in the bag without losing it. Now I'm going to take the bag and just wrap it around as tight as I can. Now I'm taking my other zip tie, or in my case my twine, and I'm going to tie this down. So the last thing that I'm going to do is to wrap that with aluminum foil. The aluminum foil will help to keep in the moisture and it'll help to reflect the sun's rays so you don't have too bad of a greenhouse effect going on and superheating the roots. And that's it guys. If this is successful in about two to three months, I should be able to take off this aluminum foil and see roots through the plastic bag. So I'll keep you updated on the progress of this air layer and of all my mini projects. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.